We finished up the garden super late last night. I went home at about 11.30 and Cameron followed me about a half an hour later. But we got all the rows in and done before the rain came. And now we're rushing to get in these plants. I've got all kinds of tomatoes in soil blocks. Most of them are in the larger four inch blocks. You can see right here, it's the peppers. And they've been in there a really long time, a lot longer than they should be. But we were waiting on getting the stuns. In each planting hole, I'm gonna add some of this, which is, it's glacial rock dust. It really just adds some trace minerals that aren't present in the soil in great abundance these days. And then in here, it's just, it's a big bag of blood meal for nitrogen for these plants. And I'm putting that in individual planting holes as opposed to all across the garden um, because I feel like it'll have better results and I'll waste less. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Instead of planting a bunch like we thought we were going to do, we are adding mulch down the aisles and we're going to mulch on the top of the rows and then finish. We did dig holes all the way down so we are going to finish planting those tomatoes but we can't do any more because now that it's rained it's super muddy so that's all we're going to accomplish for today. Today we have so much to do that we're splitting the work up as a family. So Dax is on planting tomatoes. He's going to plant them and add in the necessary fertilizer and label them. And then Noelle is picking up rocks. Kian, what are you doing? I'm doing, I said I was digging tomatoes. Okay. okay. Kian's helping dig tomatoes. Uh, Cruz <laughs> is scooping mulch onto the tomatoes. We need to get those covered. I was planning on planting corn, but I think I'm going to need to assist the tomato planters right now. Yep. So to make sure the tomatoes get labeled properly. And I am another supervisor. After, after we get the tomatoes done, we're going to move on to the corn. And hopefully by then, we'll have some of the rocks cleared out by Noel. <laughs> She's She's got potential. Good. We've got sweet corn to plant. It is from high mowing seeds and it's called Who Gets Kissed Sweet Corn. Mm, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's actually a, it's not an heirloom, but it is open pollinated, which means I can save the seeds, which is what I wanted. It's really hard to find a tasty sweet corn that is not a hybrid, so this one we grew last year and it was really good. It actually held up really well. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for. Cruises 
mulching the aisles so that we can walk down them because they get really, really muddy. With you and I, the future is bright. The mulch does two things. One is it helps retain soil moisture, and the second thing that it does is it will help prevent weeds from taking over. Okay. Gathered a lot of rocks, but there's still a lot left out there. Okay, we're just finishing up for today. We have two rows of tomatoes. I didn't count how many, but I will later. And then some peppers down here. And then we covered the area that we didn't plant yet. And the area that is uncovered, we did four rows of sweet corn. We figured out it would be about 800 stalks of corn. It's a lot more than we've ever done before. You and I can weather any storm.